This is not financial advice. I'm recording my thoughts about Clover Health. The stock is up about 23% in the past five days and it is currently trading at about 95 cents with a market cap of about $458 million. In the past six months, I have done two videos about Clover and I will include the links in the pinned comment. In both those videos, I said the stock is heading to zero because the management is chasing revenue and is burning a lot of cash and not focusing on reducing the MCR, which is the most important metric for this kind of business. In the most recent quarter, that is Q1 of 2023, they have shown some great execution. They have reduced their MCR numbers and the cash burn is coming down and they are not chasing the revenue growth anymore, especially in the non-insurance business where the MCRs were above 100%. Let's quickly look at the recent quarter results. As you can see on my screen, the insurance MCR is at 86.6%, which is a significant improvement from 96.4% in Q1 of 2022. And remember that we need an MCR of about 80 or less for this company. So the numbers for insurance MCR are definitely heading in the right direction. And for the non-insurance MCR, which was a huge problem for them because in the past few quarters, their non-insurance MCR was greater than 100%, which is really, really bad. And this quarter, they posted 96.1%, which is still an improvement from last year, which was 99.8%. But even this MCR should get close to 80%. That's when they will make profit. So 96%, while it is an improvement, we still are far, far away from the 80% MCR that is desired for profitability. Let's now look at the lives under management for Clover Health. As you can see on my screen, the non-insurance beneficiaries reduced to 53,000 from 172,000. That is a significant reduction, but in this case, it is actually a positive sign because they're struggling significantly with the non-insurance business and they have to cut the lives under their management significantly and that will drive the revenue low, but that is still okay because they need to improve the MCR. That is the main target, not the revenue. If someone new looks into this reduction in non-insurance beneficiaries, they may think, okay, that's a significant loss, more than 60% reduction in the number of lives under management. But this is actually a good sign because they have been struggling in this business. Let's quickly look at the balance sheet to see the health of this company. They have close to $635,000 in cash and cash equivalents. And in the recent quarter, they burnt about $70,000. So $70,000 in a quarter will convert to about $300,000 per year. So $600,000 of cash is good for two years. So they can survive for two years with the cash that they have. When I look at the book value or shareholders equity, it's standing at about $323 million. And this number is arrived at by deducting the total liabilities of $1.13 billion from the total assets of $1.45 billion. If Clover decides to stop their operations tomorrow, the shareholders will get equivalent of $323 million, but the market cap is about $454 million, right? At $0.95, cents, that means that this company is 30% overvalued at the current price. The Let's look at the financial outlook for the full year of 2023. If you recall, in the recent quarter, their MCR is in the order of 86% for the insurance business, but they're still saying for the overall 2023, they will only range between 87 to 89%. So I'm a bit disappointed to see that number. I thought they will improve the insurance MCR quarter after quarter to get it closer to 80%. But now they're still saying 87 to 89%. But we have to see in the coming quarters how they're going to execute. And in the non-insurance MCR, they're still saying 98% to 100%. In the recent quarter, non-insurance MCR was about 96%. And I thought that in the coming quarters, it will be better than 96% and we'll get close to like 90% or so. But they're still saying the non-insurance MCR for this entire year of 2023 would be 98 to 100%. So with this financial outlook, we cannot um, anticipate profitability in this financial year. So $300 million will be burnt this year and we will only have 300 million left for the next year. So if they execute properly and reach this financial outlook, we're still not out of the weeds. So this company, in my opinion, is still going to zero. Having said that, they definitely changed their strategy and they're moving in the right direction. Like I said in my last video, they should have done it 
a year earlier and that would have done wonders to the stock but this is already late but i will follow this company's earnings in the coming quarters and i will keep on giving updates on this stock so let's hope for recovery of clover stock this year but honestly speaking i'm still thinking this company will go to zero let me know your thoughts in the comments thank you so much for watching